Well, I hope you're hungry because I bought tons of groceries. I got peanut butter, bread, tuna, pecans, canned cheese. I didn't know what you liked, so I just got the basics. No, it's not, it's not important. It's okay. Thank you. Mm. Um. Oh. Here. Here. I hope that covers it. Oh, Roy. You've always been very generous. Oh, uh, you enjoy it, Tally. Um, um, listen... If you have uh, somewhere to go, an appointment or anything, I understand. It's okay. You know what, Roy? I I've got a few minutes. You feel like taking a walk? No. Come on, Roy. Do you know that you've been holed up in this room for three whole days? I don't have anywhere else to go. You know, I could have thrown Monica out of the house a dozen times with the stuff that she did in the course of our marriage, and nobody would have ever blamed me. I mean, I mean... I forgave it every single time after every indiscretion, every single humiliation. It was okay. I opened up my heart to her. Do you know that she was being sued for sexual harassment by a young surgeon she was having an affair with? I'm afraid so, Roy. It wasn't on the papers. Yeah, yeah. See, that's my point. Even somebody like you knows. Oh, God, I'm sorry. No, please don't take offense. None taken. I have endured... Everything that she threw at me, and I never gave up on her. And what does she do in return? She throws me out of the house that I gave to her. It must be pretty rough coming from all that money and then winding up like this, huh? Yeah, not that Monica is the only guilty party, of course. Using me as the family scapegoat has got to be an art that was perfected by my father. I mean... You should have seen the glint in his eye when he said I was being cut off without a red cent. I mean, the man was practically dancing for joy. Do you have any idea what you're going to do? I'm a doctor. I'll find work. Well, Roy, you know, maybe it's not my place to say, but don't you think you're a little afraid around the edges to be healing somebody else right now? I'll call the clinic where Tony Jones works. For God's sake, he's a kidnapper. They'll be thrilled to have me. God, look at the time. Where the hell is that Creighton? Who? Oh. My distributor. He has no concept of time. He is always standing me up. I do not understand how somebody... You know what, Roy? I gotta be going. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Um, I wonder if you could do me a favor. Could you pick something up for me? Oh, wait. Back up a second. Are you asking me to score drugs for you? All I'm asking you to do is track down my distributor. Your dealer? Just pick up what I ordered and bring it back here. Look, if it's a matter of money, I can give you... Hey, stop, what? okay? Now, you can pay me to sleep with you or to pick up your groceries, but I don't run drugs for anyone at any price. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to offend you. If I did insult you, I apologize. Um, look, I'm just trying to solve my problem as quickly as possible. You know something? You're right, Roy. It is your problem. Please don't make it mine. Are we still friends? Oh, yeah. I've been insulted worse than that. Today. Can I make you something to eat before you go? Uh, a little canned cheese on a cracker? I understand it's a gourmet's delight. No, I really gotta be going. Okay. You know, I really want you to take care of yourself, Roy. And that is not just a lie. Where the hell are you? Hey, I've been waiting for you all day. I need to talk to you. Look, I'm just a working girl trying to earn a living like everybody else. I'm not looking for any marital dramas, okay? How is he? What? My husband. I have to know how he is. 
That's all you want to know? Look, he may not be living at home anymore, but it doesn't mean that I don't care about him. As a matter of fact, I am worried sick. Well, he's bad. He is real bad. I knew that. I am not here to try to get you to violate my husband's confidences. As a matter of fact, I don't even care whether or not you were providing your services. I just know my husband, and I know that he's not cut out for the kind of life that he has chosen. And I don't mean that. I don't mean that he's weak or he's soft. No, he can be downright dangerous. Believe me, I know. But that kind of emotion, that comes with an edge. That it's fueled by either, you know, jealousy or betrayal. Here, Helen doesn't have any kind of a frame of reference. Do you, do you understand? Oh, yeah. Well, he, uh, he needs somebody to look after him. Will you? You know, sometimes a person needs to bottom out. You know. oh, look, I have read all of the literature. And God forbid I should commit the ultimate sin of codependency. I just... I love my husband. I always have. I always will. And I can't stand by and watch him destroy his life. You know, your husband, he's a pretty decent guy. And he's found himself in a really bad place. But I'm sure that he's going to find his way back. And if there's anything wrong that I can do to help him, well, then I will. All right? 